my toys. Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the McFarlane Toys Fortnite Drift action figure. This is the second series of Fortnite figures. So far they've released two of the four. The other two are going to be coming out in another month or two. This figure looks pretty cool. I remember getting the skin and kind of enjoying it. He's nice pink, vibrant colors. Of course he comes with a back bling, a weapon, pickaxe, and a stand. I believe his back bling is called Pool Party, and I don't believe it's the one that's actually intended for Drift. And his pickaxe with the Slurp logo is Party Animal Pickaxe. He also comes with a scar here, arguably the best weapon in the game. So let's check out the package. This is the first time we've seen the orange background. 22 points of articulation it's boasting about. These figures are extremely articulated. Drift, ages 12 plus. A little barcode, I'm not sure what that's for. All the figures I've had and I've not done anything with that. If anybody knows, please put in the comments below. On the top, we've got the McFarlane toys with the Spawn logo. Drift from the game here, Fortnite Drift. One side we've got Drift sort of posing. Other side we've got Drift posing as well. The bottom, barcode warning, bunch of junk. And on the back side we've got picture of the rest of the wave. Of course we're trying to keep it secret where these two are. I know that's Bright Bomber and this one I think is Omega or Carbride. Both of them have been offered for pre-order for wave two. Not really sure what's going on with Bright Bomber. I'm assuming that she'll get out somehow as well. Then we've got series one as well as some of the larger items McFarlane has to offer. So with no further ado, let's open this guy up and see how awesome he is. All right, well now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all of his accessories in their entirety. He comes with four items just like every other McFarlane Fortnite figure. A back bling, a weapon, a pickaxe, and a stand. But before we look at those accessories, let's check out the actual figure. This guy here, pink, very bright, very vibrant. I like it. I like the cat face, although to me it kind of screams rabbit a little bit. Love the zipper, love the detail on his outfit, love the shirt sticking out below. Like the gloves, really like this figure a lot. So for far, my initial impression is he's better than Rex. I also actually have the skin of Fortnite, which makes the figure a little bit more desirable for me. I believe to be this to be the first figure they've released so far that I actually have the skin of. Next, let's look at his accessories. First of all, he's got the stand, pretty bland. I am not a stand guy, so this means absolutely nothing to me. It's gonna get discarded and placed into a big box of stands, presumably never to be used again. Next, I would like to look at his weapon, his assault rifle. This is a SCAR, arguably one of the best weapons in the entire game. This is the first Fortnite McFarlane weapon they've released, or rather re-released. This came with Kettle Team Leader, which was the first figure out. Here is Drift's SCAR compared with Cuddle Team Leader's SCAR. They're definitely 100% the same mold. Painting is a little bit more crisp on Drift's. I see they kind of painted in some of these details, these little dots here, whereas on Code Team Leader they were sculpted but not painted. The actual coloring is pretty much the same. A little bit better paint job for sure on this newer one. Here it is compared to another recent assault rifle that I got. This came with the Mafex Eggsy figure from Kingsman. And the Mafex figure is scaled slightly smaller, and of course the weapon is also smaller. But it's very similarly done. Of course the paint job is completely different. But just an example to compare it with another assault rifle. And then here is Drift's Scar compared to all the different Fortnite release weapons so far. These are from the first half of Wave 1, the second half of Wave 1, and then the first half of Wave 2. Here is Drift holding the assault rifle. I decided to take his other hand to sort of support it underneath. One of the first things I noticed about these Fortnite figures in the second wave is they don't have a trigger finger on their hand. All the Fortnite figures in Series 1 had a trigger finger specifically on their left hand. This allows you to hold it in either one of the hands and not feel like you're doing something wrong. I was kind of wondering why every single character in Fortnite was left-handed. I'm glad they got rid of this, although I do miss a trigger finger. You could cut one out yourself very easily. You can hold this gun with either hand, just the same. 
Here is Drift and Code Team Leader, each one holding their own scar. And then here's Drift holding another Fortnite character's gun, as well as another Fortnite character, Black Knight, holding Drift's scar. Next, let's check out his back bling, the backpack that this figure comes with. It is called Pool Party for obvious reasons. It's like an inner tube that would belong in the pool. You can see it's a unicorn. I find a lot of unicorn themed things in the game. It's got a little peg that fits in a peg hole for his back. And then here is Drift's back bling compared to all the other Fortnite McFarland toys back blings that they've released so far. There are a combined total of six of them with a whole bunch more in the pipeline. Here is Drift wearing the back bling that the figure came with. I don't believe this back bling is actually intended for Drift, as in it's not part of the set with his skin and whatnot. It seems like it might go to Bright Bomber, quite possibly. Looks like it would match the Rainbow Smash pickaxe. But it's still really cool, I'm happy to have it. In the game, these back blings are interchangeable, customizable. You can mix and match your characters however you want, between their back bling, their glider, and their pickaxe, and of course you can do the same with the figures. Here is Drift wearing another figure's back bling, as well as another figure wearing the back bling that came with Drift. Once again, these are customizable, interchangeable, just like the game, and as McFarlane releases more and more figures, I think it's really cool, the endless amount of options that you'll be able to do. Next, let's look at the pickaxe that came with this figure. Once again, I don't think this pickaxe is actually what is intended to go with the drift skin, but I could be wrong. This pickaxe is called the Party Animal Pickaxe. What's cool about it is, honestly, pretty much everything. The main thing is, in the front it says Slurp. It's like a big keg of Slurp juice. That's why it'd be called the Party Animal Pickaxe. Love the sort of, I don't know what this is down here, where it can pump the Slurp juice through it push it out here through a little tap or whatnot. Overall really cool thing, little lever that will go up and down to open the tap. This is not movable, but it's kind of soft. Be careful with this thing. And then here is Drift's pickaxe compared with all the different Fortnite figure pickaxes they've made so far. There's a combined total of six of them. And if you've seen the reveals at Toy Fair, there's going to be a ton more coming out this year. Here is Drift holding his pickaxe. He can hold with one hand, he can hold with two hands for stability. Definitely like the way it looks with this guy. Here is Drift holding another figure's pickaxe, and another figure holding the pickaxe that came with Drift. Once again, reiterating that these are customizable, just like in the game with almost infinite possibilities as the line continues to progress. One thing I did notice about the pickaxe is these figures' hands are really, really tight, and I see scuff marks already on the pickaxe and the weapon where they have to squeeze into the hand. I do remember this being a slight issue in Series 1, but it seems to be a little bit of a bigger issue in Series 2 without the trigger finger. Really hard to get in their hands, and it leaves a little bit of residual issues on the accessory. He can come here, take his pickaxe, and chop, chop, chop away as if he's mining for material or perhaps trying to get through to that chest that he hears on the other side. And like I said before, here he is. He's broken through the wall, got a little bit of brick, as well as exposed the chest that he heard. I sure hope there's a legendary scar in there for him. Now that we've taken a pretty in-depth look at his accessories, let's check out the height of this figure. This is from McFarlane Toys. They're traditionally on the higher end of things as far as scale goes. Full 7 inches. So this guy here looks like he's sitting at, from the top of his head, just a hair below 7 inches. And if you count the top of the ears, just a hair above 7 inches. Next, let's check out this figure's articulation. The package boasts that they have 22 points of articulation, but I think they could even claim more than that. They're counting one for the elbow, which is a double joint. You could probably argue there's two there, etc., etc. So, figure at the head. Now, this is sort of disappointing. 
The hoodie is permanently attached to the head. I was hoping it'd be the soft material you sort of pull it back. I will say you can see behind there. There is an ear sculpted, kind of interesting, but you can't pull anything back off the top. I do believe this guy had different faces in the game, and I think it would have been nice to include different heads, etc., etc. So this head, it does move around, but it's very much hindered by this hoodie here. As you can see, it just it really can't turn. It snaps right back into place. It can go down and up, but once again, will not stay in either position. So almost useless in some ways. His elbows, or shoulders rather, go out way more than 90 degrees, which is really nice. They can go up, down, they can go all the way around. Very poseable. He's got a bicep cut in here. He's got double jointed elbows. Can reach way behind his head. I mean, he can go just extreme poses with this guy. Scratch his head, touch his mouth, act like he's thinking, etc. He's got a wrist that, of course, it can move around, and it has a hinge as well, go up and down. He does have an ab crunch. It's all hidden behind this jacket, so you can't really see what's going on. He presumably has a waist swivel as well. Can't really see. Definitely an ab crunch. I actually don't think he has the waist swivel like the other guys, but this allows him to do all kind of stuff. You can feel this. You can hear these soft goods kind of rubbing against itself. His legs, they go out about that far. Not quite as much as I'd like. If I push it further, they will pop out. And they go forward about that much and back really not much at all he's got double jointed knees then go all the way back pretty cool absolutely nothing going on down here he of course has ankle articulation which you can't see because he's high top shoes they're presumably the same as all the other fortnite figures but it's going to make it impossible to sort of turn the joint to the side and use it as to be able to tilt of course, they can also go up and down considerably. And yes, there's toe articulation. Next, here he is compared with the other figure from the first half of Series 2. On the left, we've got Drift. On the right, we've got Rex. Here he is compared with all the Fortnite McFarlane figures that they've released so far. There are a combined total of six of them. And if you haven't seen already, check out the coverage from Toy Fair from last month. They have revealed so many more figures that are upcoming. Here he is next to my entire McFarlane Fortnite collection. All six figures plus a few extra Skull Troopers. You may wonder, why does he have four Skull Troopers? I use them for Scarecrow Thugs in my Batman action figure world, and I think they work rather well for that. Here he is next to some of his McFarlane Toys brothers from other various McFarlane lines. As you can see here, they scale up pretty nicely. They are all the 7 inch scale and scale up pretty good together. Now I must confess that I am not certain if this is supposed to be a cat mask or a fox mask. I seem to have read both things online. And if it is a cat, here he is compared to several Catwoman figures uh, with similar color schemes as Drift. Here's a Mezco Catwoman, Mattel Catwoman, of course this is a McFarlane Fortnite toy, another Mattel Catwoman, and here's a DC Direct Catwoman. It's pretty much the only one that would scale up with Drift. And if it's a fox, here he is next to my custom fox from the Terrible Trio, a group of Batman villains. Here he is in a big giant battle royale with a bunch of Fortnite-esque figures. And of course, don't forget about the entire squad of Skull Trooper snipers up top. Here he is with several custom Fortnite weapons that I use to enhance my Fortnite figures. Not exactly customs, but substitutions from other action figure lines. Here he is with a pump shotgun trying to get some close range kills. And then here he is holding a minigun, assuming he has plenty of small bullets, he'll be taking down all the enemy structures he can. Here he is with a quad rocket launcher, looks like he's got two rockets left, getting ready to take out some enemies. And here he is as a couple of duos fight each other with shopping carts. 
looking at the situation, my money's on the school trooper. Then here he is opening up a chest, hoping to get a legendary scar or rocket launcher. Now this chest is an officially licensed Fortnite item, but I believe it comes with these smaller size figures. Not intended for the McFarlane figures, but it holds a special place in my heart nonetheless. He seems a little disappointed with the common loot that he found in this chest. Then here he is discovering a llama. Can't wait to see what kind of mats and shields he's going to get from inside of there. Once again, this is another officially licensed Fortnite item, but it is clearly not from the McFarlane line. It's a stuffed animal that I bought at Walmart. It's quite a bit larger than a llama should be compared to the guy. But it's all they offer, so I'm happy to have it. And then here's Drift actually riding on the llama, having a little bit of fun with it. Here he is trying to recover some of his health with a campfire. Of course he's being a noob and healing out in the open without boxing himself up. More than likely he's going to get sniped before the campfire runs out. Here he is with a balloon getting ready to do some really tall jumps. There's really nothing I like better than having a balloon and a rocket launcher. Here he is with a few balloons getting ready to fly across from one point of the map to the other point of the map as fast as he can with no vehicle. So all in all I must say I'm pretty fond of this figure. I love the colors, I love the mask, I love the face paint. A little bit disappointed with the execution of the hoodie but it's all good. I think this is my favorite figure of the two they've released so far. I like him a little bit more than Rex. Not to say I don't like Rex, but I like Drift a little more. The fact that I was actively playing and actually have the skin contributes to me liking him a little bit better as well. I cannot wait for the next two figures, or possibly three figures from this line. Bright Bomber, Carbride, and Omega. I think Carbride and Omega are going to be absolutely awesome. I love their designs, and I think I'm going to like them the best. If I were to rate this figure, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. That's the same rating I gave Rex. But I do like Drift just a hair more. So this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comments below. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I cannot wait to review the rest of this wave when they come out. Estimated around early May, possibly late April. And I cannot wait until the other Fortnite figures and vehicles start dropping later this year. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.